and welcome to another episode of Nerd Age, where we discuss everything nerdy. My name is Mick, and with me as always are my co-hosts, Corey. Yo. Josh. What's up? And John. Hey, everybody. And Corey. Everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, come, come are, we, are we doing the accents now? Yeah. How's hey, it going, everybody? everybody? <laughs> You're just going straight for Southern action. <laughs> the Southern draw. I got to get my uh, fix since we got rid of Chuck doing the Nerd News Roundup. <laughs> I mean, you can bring him back Chuck, whenever Chuck you want. Chuck is always around. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Just call him back at a moment's notice. Hey, fellas. <laughs> we got to get them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So how, how's you guys' week been? Uh, Pretty good. Helped you move on Saturday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys, all of you. Wait, how long did it take? It wasn't that long. <laughs> did you have, do you have a lot of stuff? Not really. It seemed like I did, but it seemed like I didn't. And I think in reality, I really didn't have that much. I think the real question is probably for Jonah. He, he called in the you. specialist to move his Legos. That was basically the I hardest only, thing. I yeah. had to grab grab the Daily Bugle and you know yeah, carry that it. That sounds so. too big. Did you have white gloves? I did, yeah. <laughs> No, you didn't have too much. No, I, so it took a couple hours or something, or yeah, yeah I think hours. it was two hours, and I was out. It's not so. too bad. Yeah. I think we did like two trips. Nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, any other day, I would have been there. I know. I Five a.m. What a bummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes yeah. us so long. <laughs> it takes us so well, long because so- you guys weren't there. You guys were playing D and D. How did that go? It takes us forever to schedule these D and D. Because you try, you guys try to play once a month. Yeah, yeah when try- we can. We we, we didn't play last month. Yeah, we were just too busy. So it's it's tough, dude, because you yeah. don't. It's like it's really hard to get like what is it three different couples yeah. together and coordinate all this time because we do big blocks of time, and so it's not just watching a movie. It's like watching three movies, and it's not really like like laid out to like how long you'll do it. Right? It's kind of like well, it could go. We feel it out six hours. It could go eight hours. Yeah, it, we really base it. I base it on his wife, <laughs> how many times she yawns. Once she yawns five <laughs> times, I know it's about time to wrap it up. <laughs> nice. Uh, but but seriously, it's more about, like, the what's going on in the story or what are we doing. Like, if we're in the middle of fight, fighting, like, we're going to play that out. Right. Yeah. But if we have, like, okay, this is now. We did all this stuff. We did all this stuff for, like, four hours. And now we have to make, mm-hmm. a, make a plan or now we're going to move on to the right. next thing. It's like Brie will, like, ask. Is this the time you guys want to stop, or yeah. you want to keep yeah, playing? Kind of a breather. Yeah. Like, okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So. Cool. Uh, how long did we play for? Like five hours? Four? Um, Four, probably. It, we started, right when um, I finished my moving, right? <laughs> exactly. As soon as you were done, we're like, yep. Uh, <laughs> I think it was good. actually close to like probably five or six. I think. Really? Yeah. I mean, it was a good. It was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> The only bummer is we didn't get to fight very much like, know, at huh? all, but it was all story stuff. And I mean, it's fun, but yeah. I got a new sword and I didn't get to use it yet. Oh. I know. Mm. He has a six. You got to wait a month now. I know. It's brutal. <laughs> I know. It sucks. But actually, this this time, I think we're only going to wait maybe two or three weeks. To yeah. Do, so that'll so be we good. can do it earlier. But yeah. Yeah, that was cool. We played yeah, D&D and then um, I, I made some mold so I can, Crystal and I can make our own D&D dice. So I poured some silicone molds. Oh, okay. I thought you say I made some mold. I was like, yeah, mm. like, <laughs> yeah. I, I left some iced tea under the bed. Oh, yeah, no, no I'm not. I'm not, I'm not you, dude. Oh. <laughs> what a specific uh, example. Yeah. Uh, so we did that last week, and the resin was supposed to come in this week, but it hasn't yeah. arrived yet. So once that happens, I'll give you an update. I'd on be how more our... impressed if you're like, hey, we're uh, making our own swords. I got a forge in the back, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Definitely makes uh, wooden ones for nice. sure. Yeah. Easy. Nice. Uh, yeah. I've got two things related to D and D. So one is a story <clears throat> that. So um, last week um, I was at John Gatman's, right? Oh yeah. And there was a bunch of people there. And there was this one guy um, that was. Uh, he was basically like talking to everybody and everybody he talked to he had like a story about like that would relate to them like dylan was there and dylan was doing high side hustle syrups you know he's like, like, I love side hustle. and he goes i so i know this these these guys let me put you in contact with them um i'm gonna send you a message i'm gonna do a three-way message right here what's your number and then Dylan was like, gave him his number. He's like, all right, put you in contact with him. Um, and Dylan was like, well, I kind of don't like, he's like, nope, don't worry. I already did it. Right. <laughs> okay. So then 
I'm kind of just listening. Is this guy a con artist? <laughs> no. Well, I'm kind of just listening to this conversation. He's the classic right? middleman. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, so the, the next conversation, like, he's talking with someone else, and he's like, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? You should, you should come. I'm doing dance. I'm teaching my first dance lesson. Um, for and who? It's just for some... It, Random person in the party. He's just there. He's like, what kind of dance? He's like, I'm teaching. And, and then he said, I can't remember. He said, he said, we're doing the cha-cha. Texas, Texas, um, line something. Texas. Texas. Not line line da- no, not line dancing. Or maybe it was. But, and the guy's like, oh, what's that? He's like, well, let me show you. <laughs> oh, and so he's man. Like, may I, may I, um, oh, have this God. dance? He's like, <laughs> no. he says, may Get I borrow your wife for a oh. second? Right? And, and the so guy then, said, F off, bro. <laughs> no. Anyways, so then he like starts like, this is how it'd be like this. And he starts trying to dance. And I was like, man, this guy's a jack of all trades. Well, then the next thing is one of the guys there is talking about how he's starting to play D and D. And the guy's like, stop right there. I just had to cancel my D and D session. We play every Sunday night. And I've got ten of the guys saying they're good. They want they want to leave the group now because I'm canceling on them, right? Anyway, so he's talking he about how, eleven people. So Jeez, he, he, right? Okay, that would be <clears throat> bad. Okay, I would hate that. But check this out. So the guy that's telling it's him, Joe he's like, "We're no." He goes, <laughs> "We're paying." He's like, "We pay a guy a DM, a DM, yeah. a professional DM." Yeah. And he's like, "And we." He's like, "We each put in like fifty bucks." Yeah, dude. Put and so, thing, dude. Right. The guy yeah. that's the guy that's learning. He's like, "Oh, we're probably gonna do it just until we learn," because he's like, "None of our friends know, so he's right. teaching us." And then after a year or so, once we get a hang of it, one of us will take over. Yeah. And the guy's like, "Um, can I ask how much you pay him?" And the guy's like, "Let him know." He's like, "You know, I played D and D for years, and I, you know." I've d- done the DM, you know, so I could done totally, <laughs> I could totally do it for you guys, <laughs> right? You know, and I was like, this sly dog, he wants to get that money, yeah. <laughs> he's and the, he's like, and I like, I can do whatever you want. I can be like really serious, <laughs> but I can be like, hey, let's get a little crazy. Let's go off the continent. <laughs> let's kind of do what you guys want to do. Do you guys, you know? And, and I was just like, man, this guy. But he would just like bounce around and be like, hey. And every time someone would bring something up, he would be like, "Hey, I, I, oh, need to hide a body? I can, I, I, I can hide all, all sorts of bodies." <laughs> not gonna lie, uh, this guy sounds like someone I would not like. They're sketchy, dude. People like that. I, I've, I've run into people like that. He they're, was just a life of the part. He was just yeah. everywhere. Like they're people pleasers in conversations. Yeah. I think he was um, because there was a lot of people there. I think he was like networking, like because a yeah. lot of his things, like. He talked to me for a little bit, and he's like, "What do you have like, to offer me?" Ba- basically, he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah. "Hey, you know, can we trade? How can I get money?" He's like, "What do you want my number? Just scan." He's like, "Here, just take a picture of my." It he had one like of those. He just needed a friend. Those things on his phone. It's a QR code. A QR code. That's <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and you take a ding picture, ding and then on. he's like, "There, you got my information." I mean, that's a business card. Yeah. Right. And so, so, so that he was networking, but it was just, so, it was funny how it was like, oh man, I kicked that guy was, out. <laughs> I kicked that, that guy out. What does his business card say? Dancer, DM, what else did <laughs> he have? Everything you need. Jack of all trades. I think he's a, his uh, name was Jack. He, yeah, he but, legally changed it to Jack. Um, so that was, that's the first D&D story. The other one is I had a friend of mine, uh, last week or so, um, <clears> send me a message friend from Mexico, Mexico named Nestor. He's, um, doing, he wanted me to bring up the fact that he's working on a project, which is a Ghost King deck, which is a Kickstarter that's going to go live on November 22nd, I believe. And it's kind of based on, it's a deck of cards mm-hmm. um, based on Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings. It has like lore built into it. I think it's also a board game. I don't know exactly how it's working, but it's obviously your normal deck of cards with um Diamonds, clubs, spades, all those things. Um, the artwork's pretty cool. You can check them out on Instagram. I think I showed you guys. Um, what was the name of it again? It's uh, um, ghost underscore king underscore deck is hmm. what their Instagram um, yeah handle is handle is. And so yeah, you showed me. <laughs> you showed us the pictures. It looks cool. I mean, you can tell he's a designer, and um, it's like high fantasy. It, a lot of the cards have really cool like map artwork. So if you like maps, it looks really cool. And also the face cards look pretty dope too. It's pretty. Sweet. Yeah, the the cards 
if you put, I don't know what the game is, but yeah. it looks cool. Um, they're revealing stuff every every day. They're putting out a new card and revealing it up to when the Kickstarter launches. Mm. And so the um, the normal cards, not the face cards, but the numbered cards um, for each suit. If you put them together, the front side, so the side that has the numbers, um, they make a map, um, yeah. which is pretty cool. It's a cool design. Um, again, like I said, I don't know much about it, what the other aspect of the game is. Um, but if you're someone who likes that kind of stuff, or high, even high fantasy, or even the if you just collect decks of cards, because I have mm-hmm. Mandalorian Star Wars ones <laughs> I bought, I, there was one at Ross. Um, that I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, it's a deck of cards, what and it's it got out? a cool design, and it had, like, the Ross logo over the middle, so I just got it, and then when I took it <laughs> off and got actually home... actually Ross cards? They're Ellen oh, cards. Oh, Ellen did you <laughs> say Ellen on it, and it's like the, the... So I was like, well, I got a deck of Ellen cards, if any of you collectors. What so are the we, face cards? <laughs> it's like her it's and, like, and like, like, hearts and stuff. No. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to show you guys. Those. You still have them, though? <laughs> yeah, they're here. That's weird. Somewhere. There's someone out there that wants those cards. They're nice cards, because yeah. they're the... Um, if they're at Ross, doesn't that mean they didn't want them? Well, yeah, but you, what's the, um, what's the <laughs> Don't company? Don't think about it too much. Okay, what's yeah, the yeah, company yeah, that yeah, does a Mandalorian? Sure. Theory, Theory uh, I 11, I think it is. Um, they they have some really cool Marvel like mm. Avengers cards, and they just announced they just are putting out a Beatles oh. one. Mm. Looks re- the artwork's awesome, but it's it's the same brand. So I was like, oh sweet, these looks awesome. And then I was like, oh they're Ellen cards, <laughs> the generous <laughs> cards. So, so um, yeah, before we move on, just check out Ghost King deck um, on Instagram, and then check out their Kickstarter. It's some cool stuff. Cool, very nice. All right, I think we'll get into some news yeah, now. Some news. All right. My ears are bleeding. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Jonah, what do we got? Well, we got uh, Disney Plus Day, which... Woo! (laughs) Dude, (laughs) go ahead. Best (laughs) day ever. Best day ever. They they kind of did the same thing that um, DC Fandom did, where it was like they hyped it up and said there was going to be all these reveals, and then it ended up being kind of a dud. Um (laughs) <laughs> they uh, they kind of said that they were going to drop like trailers and all this kind of stuff, and they really just dropped title cards for Marvel <laughs> shows. Jeez. They said it was going to be Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, yeah. and it was mainly Marvel stuff, yeah. and then other things like Disenchanted or um, the Pinocchio movie, which I'm kind of excited for, the live-action Pinocchio, which has Tom Hanks, and it's Robert Zemeckis, who did <laughs> Back to the Future, so that's mm-hmm. interesting to me. But other than that, it was basically just these are Marvel TV shows that are coming out. Yeah. Um, so did you actually wake up? I woke up. <laughs> so I set my alarm, guys, for six in the morning because it was the earliest you've woken up. Um, Wait, did they not say what time they were doing you that? Yes, they said oh. at six. Oh, okay. So I was like, okay, I'm going to wa- be the first to watch the Obi-Wan trailer. <laughs> and then I kept, <laughs> I said, I was telling Mick when I was helping to move, I was like, I felt like such an idiot because I'm like laying in bed and I'm like, Maya's laying next to me, so I'm trying to be quiet, you know. And then I'm like refreshing the Twitter feed because that's what they were doing. They were just refreshing a thread on yeah. Twitter and just adding stuff to it. So I'd be like refresh and like scroll down and be like, oh well, like oh Sneakerella, yeah, yeah. Sneakerella, and like oh Spin, <laughs> mm, Baymax show. Okay, well that's all right. Uh, here's some Pixar stuff, and then they're like the Obi Wan thing. It's like the thing I saw yesterday. Yeah. That's it. No more Star Wars. That was the only Star Wars thing they did. They dropped the Boba he- Boba Fett under the helmet little documentary right. that was like twenty five minutes, which was cool. Um, but other than that, there was nothing. So I was kind of like, "What about the? I mean, the She Hulk trailer though. I mean, oh, the She Hulk trailer was that was garbage. pretty awesome. <laughs> Yo, can I say they like? In my opinion, I feel like they they changed the logo a lot. Did you guys see the like She-Hulk oh, one? from the She Hulk? Yeah, one? it's all from now the like, original. Yeah, the original was like Hulk yeah. and like big green bold and like purple like graffiti type. Now it looks like She the, and then Hulk. Now it looks like a Grey's Anatomy or like a Sex show. in the City yeah. type. Yeah, weird. Yeah. That's what the yeah. people want. That's what I heard. Someone was like, "It looks like a logo for an NBC yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, drama, the thing. hospital yeah. drama." That's yeah. not even yeah. yeah. even the, the quality of it. I mean, it was just a. A little bit of it, but it just looked like they went all thin at least and stuff. at least 
WandaVision looked like the movies. Same with Loki. Yeah. Um, Falcon Winter Soldier to some extent. But, yeah, it looked just it looked like a really big downgrade. Yeah. Um, well, let's just talk about... In terms of yeah, quality. Run let's just the talk list. about the, the Marvel stuff. Um, yeah. So, She-Hulk, um, Moon Knight, which is... Which, um, do we know, is She-Hulk what type of show that's going to be? I don't know. Like, do we she's even know... She's a lawyer, isn't if she? If it's supposed yeah. to be yeah, like a, a noir lawyer. kind of thing? It's going to no? be like... A, it's like a law and order, but... She, <laughs> but she hulks to out? To me, from the little clip they she released... She intimidates the Which judges. I, was released in another country. It wasn't even released here. Um... From what I it looked to me, it's more of like a um, like there's that scene at the end when she's like they're standing in a parking lot, um, her and Bruce Banner, and they're standing awkwardly, <laughs> and they're like wearing weird clothes, and she's like, "You won't like me when I'm angry," and she looks at the camera. It feels to me like that was like, it's one of those things where it's like like even Stevens, you know, where he like imagined or or Scrubs, where he imagines <laughs> something, and it's like. Oh, it's like, there's like an eighty show. Yeah. It's like yeah. a fantasy, like it's it's playing in her head or something. Well, that just <laughs> seemed weird. That scene specifically, <laughs> like a Disney show, was uh, shot for shot from the old Hulk show. Yeah. I saw people posting online that it's like the they're wearing the same exact clothes and yeah. everything. And so that's so why I'm wondering if it's just kind of a, <clears throat> one of those things where it's like it's it's going to be weird in that aspect. We're just going to like, I don't I don't <laughs> think so. Well, why would I, they put that in uh, there? Just, like, then, just as a promo? Yeah, like, it's, it's not part of the show? I don't think okay. so. Maybe. I could. I have a hard time believing that <laughs> it's like She-Hulk, she's a lawyer, and she's, like, imagining, like, goofy things, like guys in banana suits running around. She's, you know what well, I mean? I'm not like, saying like, that, not well, imagining banana suits. Like, she's just, like, like imagine, like, like, you said scrubs, so <laughs> automatically <laughs> I'm thinking scrubs okay. and how ridiculous <laughs> J.D.'s fantasy. I also said even Stevens, okay? Okay. I could see a scene where, like, someone's really pissing her off, and instead of hulking out, she hulks out in her dream and then rips his head off. Yeah, something like that. But then it doesn't really happen. And then it really cuts happen. back and nothing happens. And there's a laugh track. Yeah. Well, here's a question. So, in the bits from it that we saw hulk was still smart hulk because it takes place are they going to show him reverting back to banner then in that show well, or are they just not going to acknowledge it i think um if you look at that she's younger she's a little girl so i assume there's a time that passes time skips so when she's young he's yeah. still professor hulk and then later on when she's older he's whatever iteration they need him to be um <laughs> Yeah. Which I don't know. You know, so I just think it'll be like, oh, yeah, time passed. Is that going to line up, though, with... It never lines up. And uh, they don't care. Was that? (laughs) Was that at the end of Shang-Chi? Yeah, he was normal. Yeah, he was normal banner. Yeah. 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 But he still did arm... I I don't know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What's next? Uh, Moon Knight. um, Then the Agatha House of Harkness. Echo. um, I'm going through all the live action ones. Secret Invasion. Iron Heart. Um... Are the ones that Iron were... Ironheart? Yeah, that? it's a war machine, right? Uh, no, that's the... Is it the female Iron Yeah, or, the female. Yeah, Iron, the female. Oh. Iron Wars is war machine. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. And then the animated ones, um, Marvel Zombies, I Am Groot, What If Season 2, Spider-Man Freshman <laughs> Year, and um, the one that I'm most excited for is X-Men 97, which is... The continuation of the show from the 97. Which is kind of interesting that they're doing that, and we've got Cape Crusader, which is the continuation of the Batman animated series, which I'm all down for. I mean, it's, yeah, it's smart because, I mean, that 90s era for cartoons, that's like, that's the good good man one. And for the X Men, they said they're bringing back like the original writers and the voice cast. Nice. I think it's great. I think. I think it's kind of a win-win situation or a yeah. win-neutral <laughs> situation. Like, as long as they change the name a little bit so they can, dis- you know, discern between the two, w- if it sucks, who cares? Then we're just like, oh, it's the bad version. It, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't do anything to the original. But if it's good, then we just get more yeah. of the good stuff. So and that's one of my favorite animated series. Did the original series go off the air in, like, 96 or something? Or? Uh, mm, when did it go off? I think uh, it's later it than start? that. Because I think what their name what what's the name of the new one X Men ninety seven so uh, that's either yeah, when it started know. or when it ended but mm-hmm. probably started yeah cool. ah. 
Yeah, and it was I only checked. like three seasons, right? Yeah, that seems it was late, pretty though, short. It? What? That seems late for. Because wasn't that yeah. wasn't that before the Spider Man animated series? It, I think so. Because that. Because the Maybe X Men, that, the X Men series ended. teased probably when the Spider Man. Yeah, anime I think series. it probably started in ninety five and ended in ninety seven. Yeah, okay. it probably ran for three <clears throat> years. I think that's what it did three seasons. Um, so I love that series, but that is it's hard to rewatch. Um, we had, I think, Tube and I got the DVDs when they re released them, have them. Um, and uh, we rewatched them, and the animation is just, especially the early seasons, it's hard to to watch because it the animated batman animated series the animation is just so good and the darkness of it fits like it allows things to it looks better i guess um the x-men series was kind of brighter and stuff same and with so, same with spider-man it, yeah it doesn't really so hold it up doesn't that hold well. up so that that's one thing where i'm like they can it's really going to benefit from an update in the animation <clears throat> yeah i don't think i have ever thought to myself, oh man, I wish they really rebooted that series yeah. un, 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 um, uncalled for. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I didn't just think of that ever. Right. It was, so, I mean, it, maybe it's a good hit, maybe, but like I said, it's it's a win neutral situation. Yeah. Like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I think there's a lot of people who got excited about that. I think that was the one thing that people even cared about. That was the one thing for me out of all the Marvel stuff. I was like, because for me, and here's a question <laughs> I have for you guys. Um, you guys are bigger Marvel fans than I am, and I know we've got listeners that are bigger Marvel fans. So if you want to chime in on this, um, go ahead. Um, chime in with how the much? How much of this is too oh, much? Do uh, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, I didn't watch Captain Falcon and Winter Soldier. Um, oh, you mean just like what, quantity? Just I, that's what I'm saying. So <laughs> for me, it's different. Like, give me all the Star Wars in the world because I'll watch it. Like if, if it's a show. For me. The only thing on here that I'm really interested in seeing is probably Moon Knight because it has um, Oscar, Oscar Isaac, Isaac. And, and it looks cool, and X-Men 97. Um, maybe the Spider-Man freshman year um, what, is something because that's animated, and I might be like, maybe because it's a Spider-Man show. But is other that than that... In, is that tied into the MCU, or is it like its own thing? I assume I it's tied into the MCU, right? I have no idea. I don't think they've really announced anything. I was kind of excited for it. Uh, but then when they did like the logo for it, they, it like cut across and showed like the, <clears throat> the like, comic book, the cu- it, like the, the cutout, the cutout of him. And it looked like diary of a wimpy kid yeah, type of drawings, it gave like the same, like <laughs> not like stick figures, but you know what I mean? Like that kind of style. Yeah. And I was like, which they mm. announced the animated movie for that too. Thanks for bringing that up. Diary of a wimpy yeah. kid. <laughs> um, doesn't that already exist? Is that, is that no, the animated movie? Oh. Is that for the, is that it for their announcements that they brought up? That's for the uh, Marvel announcements. That was all the Marvel yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I so for me, it's like, how much is too much for you guys? Like, are these shows being like, is it, does it, does it water down the product if there's so much that you're just like, ah, I don't no. care for it? I don't it. think Especially so. Especially if it's all connected. I think like what you were saying, you like Star Wars way more. Yeah. And so you, you said, give me all the Star Wars. I think if you enjoy Marvel, then... You probably can't get enough. There's so. a person just like you, but for Marvel, yeah. for sure. And I'm, I like Marvel. I probably won't watch every show, but yeah, I mean, uh, if, as long as it's good quality, yeah. then I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, with DC, <clears throat> like I don't watch the TV shows. Yeah, me neither. There's too much, so I already have too much for DC just because of the quality of the TV shows. I just, I'm just not a fan of. Yeah. Same thing goes for Marvel, though. Not a fan of like some of these things that are coming out. You know, I'm not really looking forward to it. But I will always watch their respective movies. I will always yeah. to try it. And it's big, you know, big picture, big, you know, big money involved. And so we'll see. Um, but yeah, what about YouTube? For me, it's already too big. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Out of how many shows? Uh, well, out of that list, <clears throat> Moon Knight sounds interesting to me. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably the only one that I'm excited for. Everything else, I mean, I feel like uh, Ironheart might be interesting. Um, I like robots and suits of armor, <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like, that stuff's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah if, I wonder, I think you guys are right. There's somebody out there that's like, 
give me all yeah. of the Marvel shows. For me, for Star Wars, though, if they did this for Star Wars and they were like, hey, Gonk Droids coming out, you know, yeah, 2023, that's true. That's I'd be true. like, no way. No, yeah, I don't yeah. want to watch a show about yeah. some random, you know, I, it would be too much. Like, I don't want. Yeah. That's a good point because I think it can get into the realm of, you know, quality over quantity or vice versa. You know, it's yeah. Like, well, yeah. I think I would much rather have like three shows that are just amazing than having like, 17 offshoots of like i don't care bro. right <laughs> about yes that character. that's my one concern is like i hope they and i it seems like they're kind of pulling back like they've got their projects set and their movies uh but yeah if it ever turned into this like then just like cranking you know this yeah. is these are the 15 mm-hmm. shows that are coming out and they're all star wars i'd be like yeah. well i think the difference is with what star wars is doing because they are kind of cranking out shows but they all seem yeah. to be like characters that so the people want the people to care follow. about people like care the about. Andor one. That one's the one that's maybe more iffy, but I think yeah. a lot of people liked Rogue One. So you're getting K two S O and Cassie and Andor. So people like that those characters, and so yeah. I think they were popular. So that makes sense. But you've got Ahsoka, who everyone's going to watch the Ahsoka show, especially because you're bringing Thrawn in. Anyone Ezra who's Bridger. a Star Wars, um, yeah. you got the Obi Wan show. Everyone wants to watch the Obi Wan show. Um, and That'll then be the most popular one. Mandalorian, the Boba Fett one. Like, everyone wants to watch the Boba Fett show, see how he got out of the Sarlacc pit. And then eh. you've got yeah. um, the one they announced, which I guess is now is on the back burner, but the Rangers of the older of the New Republic or whatever. But that was... Um, Gina Carano's character was popular, and they were introducing characters that was like, oh, this is in that universe. So there was a hunger for it. And the other one is the Acolyte. Which is I'm excited for that one. That one's a dark side user apprentice. A show about that. I think a lot of people want that. So I just think <clears throat> those shows make sense. And there's a, I guess, the hunger for those things. There's a lot of these that you're you're right. It's kind of like I think I think people want to know secret what Secret Invasion's about because that's a big story arc in the comic books. Um, yeah. But I think like you're you're right. Like I am Groot show. So I know. You no, know, I'm not. Yeah, is that ba- that's a baby group, right? Baby yeah. Well, the Agatha can, show. I I know people like that, but I don't. To me, it's for someone that's not a Marvel fan. I'm like, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know anyone who was like, oh, I love Agatha. I love that character. Like, and plus, you put a pun in the name. Boo! I'm sold. I know, darkness. <laughs> um, you know, I think that <clears throat> Star Wars is is doing just the right amount. I think that if they do, if they keep going at this pace, though, we will start seeing this similar kind of yeah. oversaturation. Um, and, uh, you know, I, everyone's going to have different, uh, you know, amounts. That's perfect yeah. for them. I think there's already people <clears throat> who are like, this is too much. Yeah. I, I know a couple dudes who have told me they're like, that's getting kind of crazy. And I'm like, well, not for me. Like, I love that stuff. <laughs> yeah, shut your mouth. But it, that's how I feel about Marvel. It's like, okay, it is getting a bit crazy. Like, I want more, a little bit more DC, like, <clears throat> like big boy TV shows. Yeah. Um, not this like CW quality stuff. Like, I just, I <laughs> yeah, can't. Man. I can't. I don't watch it. Either. I'm just, yeah. ugh. So, yeah. I mean, is there a day and age where, you know, superhero movies start dying out, and then we have this rotation of history repeating itself, and then. After three or four years, they come back again in a reboot. Like, well, is there such a thing as superhero movies dying out? Well, that's been the question. Like, a lot of people have asked, like, Westerns. That happened with right. Westerns. Westerns were, like, huge. You yeah. know, John Wayne. And um, and then they just died out. Yep. Um, and a lot of... I think the difference is, though, um, a lot of kids, like, growing up, I think back in the day, like, you'd always play Cowboys and Indians, right? That was a big thing. And a lot of that now was... Now you can't do that anymore. Well, uh, that's part of it. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of kids grow up... A lot of kids grow up with knowing who Iron Man is, Captain America. So you got... Like, kids know that's what they play. And so I just think there's more of... It's probably more, like... More societal... Dark side versus light side Jedi fights now. Well, and the thing with specifically comic book movies, there's also, like, specific like characters like a western it's like you know what i mean it's like oh well it's just, a, cow- wayne, it's just yeah. a cowboy you know he's just playing well a cowboy. that's what it was Dirty Harry. john wayne that yeah would do. there's like Man specific Eastwood. like there's yeah. a captain america there's a spider-man there's a batman or whatever yeah and they make money that's it the and they make money i think as long as they make money they're gonna keep making yeah yeah and stuff i think the lifespan of superhero movies is really long i think 
I don't think we'll see a time where it just disappears or goes away. I don't. I don't think we see it. I don't think we see this. No. Well, and maybe I think, in, in two genera- or a generation or two from now. Yeah, maybe. Well, and probably I think, actually. I think a good example is. I think maybe you would have, like maybe the oversaturation of these lesser known characters would be like, yeah, that movie didn't work. Like Blue Beetle, maybe it doesn't work, and you'd never see a Blue Beetle movie again. Right. But for me, it's kind of like I feel like there's always going to be interest in a Batman movie. We can talk about I think so. like Christopher Nolan. Batman came out. Then the Ben Affleck Batman, it was like, oh, yeah. And then now you've got Robert Pattinson. So you've had iterations of, in our lifetime, I mean, right. even going back to Can't Michael Can't wait for the Timothy Chalamet, you know, Batman. <laughs> there you go. But I'm just saying, there, there seems <laughs> to be shame. always, like, if they announce there's a new Batman and a new movie coming out, people go to it because it's Batman. It's worldwide. It's be the same thing with Superman. I think Marvel characters... If they were to be like, hey, after Phase 4, we're rebooting, and you have, it's a new Captain America, starting from the beginning, yeah. people would go because it's Captain America. So I think you've got the the main <clears throat> dudes that are always going to have that box office. It's going to be the lesser ones once it gets too big yeah. to be like, maybe a Loki show is not going to right live past. Live past. But I think yeah. the the main ones are. Hmm. Yeah. I... I I think the staple characters will yeah. will live on, like like legends, you know, yeah. Superman, Batman, Iron Man. But yeah, hmm. that's an interesting. Hmm. I guess we'll see. But yeah, well, what are like the kids growing up to this day? Who do they talk about? Are oh. they talking about superheroes? Or well, are they yeah. talking about Fortnite? I think it's both. Superheroes are in Fortnite. But which which I can't wait for the Fortnite verse when they start making movies uh, based off of Fortnite? Gosh. It will come eventually. No, I just think that like there's always going to be kids. Like there's always going to be kids that are playing Batman, like Batman, Superman, Captain America, Spider Man. Like those, you see that everywhere in society. Like just um, Halloween costumes or just whatever it is. Um, kids grow up knowing who those characters are, and they kind of transcend just everything. Time. You know, they they do because yeah. there's. They're like for for example me like I'm a huge Batman fan I love DC um, I love Superman and you so don't say. and so the thing is Maya already knows Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman like she's already she has Wonder Woman pajamas and she's always like I'm Wonder Woman she's watched Man of Steel <laughs> and that's based on that's that's based on you. Right, you're teaching right. your kid that this is a good yeah. thing. That's and just like, you being a I good like father. You know? But that's what I'm saying. Like, there, that's what <laughs> but, parents do. Like nerds that have kids, right. but my, pass that down to their children. My question is, how many parents your age are doing the same thing? A lot of them. I think a lot. But I think it, I think that there is a pe- a, a peak, and then there yeah. is a decline. Well, and I, think, I don't think we're at that decline yet. I think no. we're we're like maybe ten years away from that. And I think part of it is you have to make good movies. Because if, if you keep making the same movie or there's nothing new about it, like the what happened with Westerns. Westerns became so popular that then they just started flooding the market with yeah. bad Westerns. Yeah. And so people were like, I'm not going to that anymore. Um, and so that's what can happen is if so, you stop is that watering going, down. Is that going to happen? Because we're seeing a lot of Marvel movies, hmm. a lot of DC stuff. More Marvel than DC, but I think for the most you know part, I mean? I mean the audience. It might be the audience down. and critics. I think are happy with the movies that are being released. You'll get those bad eggs in there, you know, every once in a while. But I think for the most she part, Hulk, dude. I think the only way for it to for there to be hope is to restore the Snyderverse. That's the only <laughs> the only that's way the only way for us to move forward and have quality superhero movies is to restore well, see, that's a problem. vision. That's a problem. You can't have one director doing all the movies, right? Well, so. I just, not all of them. I just want him to finish two more movies, and then Ben Affleck can do his Batman that's, movie. If you think two movies is going to just revitalize everything? No, I'm just saying his two movies. I think will you just finish his that. arc, and then and then we can all die happy. World. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we can. Um, <laughs> all right, what's next? Um, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Obi-Wan behind-the-scenes um, footage. But it was um, something that we already saw, right? Well, like a day or two before? Yeah, so yeah. it was just the same thing. But they revealed, um, which is, I guess, a little controversial, but since um, we all like Star Wars and we can talk about this, the fact that <clears throat> Obi-Wan and Vader are going to have a face-off. A face-off. Um, 
And so there's got, Hayden Christensen there's the cap the there's the camp that says it ruins or changes the original trilogy. <laughs> And there's a camp that says, no, it fits in right. with the original trilogy. And we're all and in agreement, right? That it, I think it enhances. The, I, wish, I think it fits. I wish we could talk to somebody that thought the other way because I really don't understand like how it Wait. ruins it or how it like makes it inconsistent. Because I think that it like really just amplifies it and makes it make more sense. I mean, I could play devil's advocate pretty easily. Go for it. Well, I mean, well, first of all, just my opinion, like real, real opinion is, well, we don't know until we see it. Right. Sure. Right? This is just hypothetical. I, I don't like think. that opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like your opinion. <laughs> but I mean, no, I mean, I think that I think I, um, George Lucas, uh, you know, didn't write that the story beats planning ahead of being like, oh, we're going to do this and we're yeah. actually going to delve into that. So I, I think that's the argument is that that wasn't his intent. Um, from the beginning. So yeah. if you just keep revisiting these little moments, it's like at some point you do start kind of whittling away at it, uh, at the weight of it, I think. Yeah. Yeah. To some degree. To some degree. And to that, I would say that I think still good things can come out of something that maybe wasn't planned, mm. you know, in the seventies. I mean, look at probably the, the biggest one that I can think of is like the ring in the Hobbit. The original Hobbit, the ring was just a magical ring. Like it wasn't this magnificent evil thing that was discovered. It was just a magic ring. And then Tolkien went back and looked at what he had mm. and kind of did more with that. I think that this kind of fits into that where it's, st- I think it still can make sense. It, I'll give you a <clears throat> Star Wars example that I just saw on Twitter the other day. Uh, so the only reason the dark saber exists is because before they they were finishing up doing the episode, they were like, "Yeah, it doesn't make sense that a vibro blade would be able to block a lightsaber." So they're like, "Okay, give uh, Previsla uh, a lightsaber, make it black." And literally, they just decided that like the day before. Yeah. And now we have Mandalorian episodes right. surrounding the dark yeah. saber. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I've like I've had conversations with people at church and just um, on the internet. The conversations of people are having is like, "This is um, sacrilege. How can you? How dare they go against?" Well, for one, it's a, for one, it's a movie. Oh, so. yeah. Well, yeah, just gonna get killed. <laughs> just calm down. <laughs> Not a religion, but, some but I just think treat it like that. You know, some people are saying if if they have a confrontation and it's. They're saying it's okay if it's like a vision. He has a vision of it. I'm like, it's not going to be a vision. It's going to be a real confrontation. Hmm. Um, but they're saying it it ruins the old, the original trilogy. But it fits if you think. Uh, okay. If you think, I will say this just real quick. Okay, I will say that knowing the end result kind of takes away from that moment, right? Because you're going back and you're like, ah, you know he's good. Well, no. You, you know what I mean? Like, that, you know what happens. Because that, but that they happens have a, with Anakin. We, we knew what was going to happen with uh, Anakin. So here's, uh, here's, the, yeah, here's, where, here's where I, I'd, I'd explain it this way. In Return of the Jedi, <clears throat> Vader, when he's having the conversation with Luke, um, he says, uh, you know, Luke's saying, there's still good in you. I know there is. And then Vader says, Obi-Wan once thought as you did. Um, if we th- take that sentence... At what point did Obi Wan think that there was still good in Vader? It's it's if, when he was flying away and he was like, could see him like no, well burning. In episode, he's like, oh, maybe in he's episode, still good before they fought. In yeah. episode three, he <laughs> thinks he's dead. So there was no point where he could have said there's still good in him because he goes to take him out, um, and then he does. He thinks he's dead. He doesn't know he's Vader. So when he finds out, someone's going to tell him or he feels it through the force that Anakin is, in fact, Darth Vader. The fact that he would then be like, there's there's still good in him. I can turn him like we can still do this. He's still alive. And then he would go have that confrontation when and then at that point realize the show is going to happen in in Obi-Wan. They're having that confrontation. That's when he then will realize he's more machine now than man. Anakin is dead. There's no hope. That's that fits with mm. the original trilogy because at some point Obi Wan had to believe there's still good in him, like Luke did. Yeah, I think that's weak because I mean the guy bisected the guy. 
Like he literally bisected him. So it had to have happened like him believing that he was still good. That happened before, you know? Before, no, no. Yeah. Cause he wasn't, he, he didn't would, know he was bad back then. Yeah. Before then. So once he finds out he's what bad, mean? I mean, he, he force pushed his, no. his baby. Mama. Right. And so he wants to kill him. He's like, he's bad. So what we're saying, yeah. so you're making our point. Thank you. Devil's advocate. <laughs> You're saying what? we need. We, <laughs> what are we doing? I'm saying we, I'm trying to help you guys. I know you that's are. What I'm saying, but <laughs> you're, what? we needed someone to argue with, and now we're making our yeah. point. I'm saying that it's believable <laughs> to think that he still thought he was good mid fight, even though he is like at the end of it, his conclusion was he's bad. I will. I'm going to slice him in half. Um, I'm saying his thoughts versus. I guess like how get, he acted versus like, like that's how he, he acted. never he never see but. How does Anakin know that? He never told him that. <clears throat> Vader he's like, has, you're my brother! And he's you, saying all these that's things. That's when he cut him off he was, and he's already he burning saying, up. He's right. saying all these things like, yo, no. you're messing See, up, dog. Anna, no, he's not saying that. He, yeah, they, I think he said that. I think that was the quote. You're messing up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> when he says, you were my brother. I, mm. You were the chosen one. Mm. I loved you, right? And that's, all, that's Anakin, all past tense. Like that's it's not like Anakin current is time. burning. He knows he's dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he walks yeah. off. So at that point, there's no like. But Vader says specifically, Obi Wan once thought as you did. Luke says there's still good in you. You can turn from the Emperor from the dark side. Vader saying there was a time when Obi Wan thought of you, and it and it fits to go back to the movie bef- because of the 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 lines that he said prior to the fight slash being on well, Mustafar, I think it was called, right? Yeah. The lava yeah. city, or the lot of lava planet. I'll have to maybe go well, over those lines because maybe that might allude to well, him being like, "Yo, you can I'll help you a little dog. bit because." Padme, <laughs> no need. Let me let me do it for you. That's good. No, cool. Good. But Padme, I mean, this is a conversation. It's not a competition. I also don't believe what I'm saying. I know, no, but bro. I'm just, I'm just You're so, just so hey, good at it. I'm doing it for our, I'm doing it for the listeners. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Obi Wan talks to I'm Padme. I'm also doing it for the listeners. <laughs> Obi Wan talks to oh, <laughs> Obi Wan yeah, talks yeah, to oh, yeah. <laughs> Obi Wan talks to Padme, and he says, "I saw him murder younglings." Like he's like, you need to tell me where he is because I gotta take, I gotta handle him. Mm-hmm. So he's not saying I need to turn him. Padme actually thinks she can turn him and be like, I need to. He, he's still good. Obi Wan's like, no, I gotta kill this guy. I saw him murder Padawans. Mm-hmm. So Obi Wan is in the mode of, I need to take care of him because he's mm-hmm. most powerful Jedi. If he's bad, we're screwed. Oh, Obi okay, okay. Yoda I goes get, to I take. Get to, I, I get the misconnect. Okay, you're saying that like. Once he was on the planet, he's sold. He's, right. he's because, done. Because right? Yoda says, I'm taking the Emperor, so you I'm, take Anakin. I'm saying roll that back a month, and he thinks he's good. But he never thought. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm saying he once okay. thought as you. He, I, you th- I was good, and so did he. No, but That's see, what I'm saying. It's semantics. Yeah. That's but the all semantics is he never even thought he was bad. Right. I think Luke is specifically saying, saying. He thought just Luke as is you. specifically I was saying. Good. There is still good yeah, in Yeah, it's you. in the context of there, he, you're redeemable. If he is, and I'm saying he is Vader semantics. at that it's point. It's a difference in semantics. There's still good in Vader. It's yeah. in that context. Well, I get what you're saying. I'm yeah. saying there's semantics that you could be, yeah. you can interpret it differently. Well, I'm saying, saying my saying. semantics are not. <laughs> Correct. And you're right stupid ones. and dumb. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, good it's job. not devil's you. Advocate. You're a devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Well done. I'm just excited. I think I like it, but I'll only accept it if they fight the same way they do in episode uh, four. That's <laughs> like the only six. Yeah, just right. you know, you know, that's it. Joystick fighting. Because nah, then it's dude, not going to be. Yeah. It's not going to make sense. So I'm really pissed about it. <laughs> like I said, I think it's going to depend on you know how it plays out. We have to see it for ourselves. I think I think that eighty percent or the majority of people are going to really like this um, series. Yeah. And um, this is a series that <clears throat> I've talked to you guys about even before they announced it. It's one of my most wanted series. So I'm super stoked to see this. Um, one of the things that I'm pissed about in the past uh, Star Wars content is there have been no lightsabers to be seen. There's been like one. So I need more lightsabers, dude. Yeah, there's Bring one. on the uh, fight. Let's have a fight at every end of the episode. Chopping people's heads off. Let's go. Uh, they're not going to do that. I know. I'm it's joking, Disney. guys. It's a joke. <laughs> you think it's going to just have a post credit scene of him just slicing That'd his heads sick. off? Nice. Kitster, <laughs> what other uh, what other news you got? Um, the l- last thing I had was the um, the rumor of uh, Barry Cogan, who plays Druig in Eternals, 
There's a rumor going around that he There's is a rumor going around. in um, the Batman. The Batman. And the rumor is that he is playing the Joker. So, again, that would be a pretty how, big. So, how do they decide on the Joker? What's the evidence or quote unquote evidence on the Joker? It's just the biggest villain. Every, yeah, every, yeah, you every, always assume that someone's playing the Joker. Okay, so that's yeah. based on nothing. Okay, yeah, gotcha. so just, he's just he's odds. done some interviews and people have <laughs> like asked. The odds are, yeah, he's done some joke. interviews and people have asked, and he says I can't talk about it. On Mick was saying on IMBD, he actually has a name as who's IMDb. playing. <laughs> what did you say? Stop <laughs> saying BD, dude. I am I am BD. <laughs> It's I N I M D B. Yeah, that. that. <laughs> I M B D, guys. Oh, uh, are um, you? Oh, um, there's that a, he, sucks he for has you. a character. <laughs> he sucks. Man. You need help. Um, <laughs> you should see something. And then, <laughs> um, so he's been doing a bunch of interviews, and whenever mm. they ask about it, he's like, oh, I can't talk you. about it. Um, and so people are saying he's either playing the Mad Hatter or the Joker. Um, his brother came out and said something, like posted something. He's like, I'm glad it's finally out. I can finally say something that my brother's playing the Joker in the Batman. <laughs> and then he deleted, oh, and then he deleted the tweet. No. Is okay. his brother an actor? Okay. No. Dude, that, so. that would totally be Jonah. <laughs> Dude, if I were, would. if I were a famous actor, Jonah would always be screwing up my, my bone oh. of my ish, you know? Well, <laughs> you'd lose money actively. Yeah. Like, you'd get, like, get fine, but you'd have to pay for it. Yeah, like, he's, uh, you know, not rich. That's what and, big brothers are for, right? Screwing up. Paying for your anyway, mistakes. It would be pretty cool if it would, if there was some, if he played a big character like that, and at the end of the movie, he, like, hmm. there's a reveal that it's like, oh. I was the Joker all alone. No, but that, <laughs> like, you know how in Batman Begins, he's like, oh, he's leaving his calling card, and they set up the Joker. It would be interesting if there was something like that. Where you see a pretty early on Joker, a pretty early on yeah. like a reveal that you're like, oh, he's he's coming next, Batman against Joker. Like I that would, would like be kind of interesting. I would actually like to see Mad Hatter more because we haven't had him in any live action. Mad Hatter sucks. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> to, no, I don't know what sh- you mean. Like, what situations that where hurt. have has he been like <laughs> uniquely awesome? He was cool in uh, the Arkham games. Oh, okay. It's, cool that can be. it's just like, <laughs> like he just doesn't feel unique enough. How so? I don't know. He's just not cool. Oh. It's like I think you like can the make Riddler's him, I think he, dope. I think you can make him darker, like they're doing yeah. with the Riddler. Um, yeah. I mean, you could say that about almost any Batman villain. Like that villain sucks, but you can oh, write him in a cool awesome. way. You can write him in a cool way, Condiment make him King. cooler. Yeah. <laughs> polka right. dot man <laughs> same thing what's the other yeah you see what they do with polka dot man? man they can do this yeah. <laughs> mad hatter has always been just weird man I, I don't know i never really enjoyed him in the animated series i don't know man alice i'm just trying to remember things alice. <laughs> i don't know you liked him a lot huh just, I, but in the game i, I liked him in the, the arkham game. games okay, yeah. so that's the thing i didn't play the games very much yeah it was, it was like, i played like half of it it was maybe. in kind of the same maybe. realm of like what scarecrow was so it was like okay. kind of a psychedelic mind trip mm. yeah and i think that they could do some cool stuff with that yeah I, I like that just because it's something we haven't seen yeah before. and it's something and new it's, i mean i love the dude, joker I, but how many jokers have we got he has to fight. Well, his brother said it. So. <laughs> I feel like you Can't could have his brother said that. I feel like you could have ah, the Mad unreal. Hatter, like be. Oh, the, they call him the Mad Hatter, and he's more like a mobster. Like you, they you would know do something want, like that. I want. I want uh, Scarface, the little mannequin. Oh, the Scarface man, the ventriloquist. Yeah. Scarface and the ventriloquist. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy's creepy. I've always wanted Scarface, Clayface, Clayface in a movie. Yeah, Clayface. I think story? Clayface would be sweet. Dude, yeah. Clayface's story was great. Oh, in the animated series, it was yeah. so good, tragic, yeah. very tragic. When he's holding him over the it's, the yeah, cliff and it starts raining and he starts slipping, it he's was like, good. Oh, 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 oh. Spoilers ah, on his whole background, it's so good. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, ah, dude, I love it. As much as I love like the real takes or like Batman in the real world, I love the more comicy stuff. So I hope that this universe does a good balance of like a little more. You know, comic booky stuff. Like, give me, yeah, give me Clayface. Like, you don't want Batman, like a cut to Batman, like struggling with doing his taxes in his office. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Why do I owe three thousand exactly. dollars? No, that'd be hundreds of thousands. Don't show dollars. me Batman grocery shopping. Yeah, like, I can no, have I, some. I agree. Expensive belief. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've got one more thing. Hmm. Right. Okay. So um, another rumor. We've talked about um, the new Spider-Man trailer. Okay. And that these guys aren't going to watch it. Sure. 
<laughs> I don't never saw that. It's basically <laughs> I mean, they can do whatever they want. It's basically confirmed that <clears throat> they're going to do another. Basically one. confirmed what? That Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be confirmed it. it. <laughs> Tobey Maguire's I brother. Saw, I saw on Twitter. Yeah, t- I don't know. No, uh, Tobey Maguire's of brother. Somebody. They put <laughs> out someone's brother. Dude. They put out. It's always a brother. Tickets for showing the trailer. They're showing the trailer in a movie theater in L.A. only. Okay. And they've already outsold it. They said the next Spider-Man <laughs> trailer. Who's paying money for that? The best spider I think it's free, actually. Super they gave, it, gave them out to people. <clears throat> oh. um, anyways, it says Regal Entertainment Group partners with Sony Entertainment to present a special showing of Spider-Man No Way Home's official trailer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Along with a presentation from some of the cast and crew of Marvel Studios' newest multiversal team up with world shaking reveals and brutal action moments don't miss trailer launch fan event for spider-man no way home live from regal sherman oaks galleria what they're saying is uh, what did that confirm wait what did that confirm? Wait, 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 go ahead go yeah, ahead let me talk well you Jeez. always do <laughs> you that's never, true johnny shut up johnny you never do you never <laughs> never I mean, don't I, shut I, up it would just be not, it'd be just been so i could finish the story yeah, you know go for it, go for it. you took um, a pretty long break anyways <laughs> um, this came after they dropped John Campia dropped the leaks and all this stuff. But the Sony said they're going to do this launch of the trailer, mm. um, and they talked about um, that they're going to have big surprises. You only do this if you're dropping the oh. fact that Andrew Garfield oh. and Tobey Maguire are there. Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire have just gone to L.A. for this thing. Okay. Um, so uh-huh. they're going to show up. It's that, gonna happen. That's a confirmation. Get the yes, freak out of here. Okay, you want to put money on this? When they drop, no, it's obviously gonna happen. Okay, well then why are you arguing with me? Because you're well, saying <laughs> you're saying it's com- it's completely confirmed because uh, they're going to L. They're actors that are going to L. A. Guys, okay, no, I'm I saying say Sony's dropping a trailer. They're they're doing an event for a trailer <laughs> drop. John, I will say the, <laughs> the line that you read out didn't confirm didn't anything, confirm anything. But I get what you're going for. That's what they're doing. Huh. This wouldn't hold up in court. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, it would. We should have a gavel. Yeah. And we'll like argue right our now. case. Mick will be the judge. There's oh, no, wow. there's, me. There's oh, no wow. doubt. It, there's no that. doubt in my mind that they're showing up in this movie. Yeah. But to say it's confirmed. I'm just nitpicking here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course it's confirmed that they're going to show up. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't just drop it. They wouldn't just be like, hey, come watch the trailer. Everyone's talked about, let's see Andrew Garfield. Let's see Tobey Maguire in it. And then they'll be like, hey, we're actually going to do an event, a fan event, where we're actually just going to show a trailer. But what I'm saying is using the word confirmed is a little much. It's con- I'm confirming it right now. I'm <laughs> You're confirming, confirming yeah, it. Yeah, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are going to be in this next trailer. Okay, what are your sources? What's your confirmation? My confirmation is Sony doing this. I mean, the John, John okay. Campia clear. stuff was kind of... It's clear. Funny. Yeah. I mean, the John Campia leaks were pretty clear, too. The fact that it's the worst-kept secret that they're all in it, Sony's doing this, dropping a trailer, an event, and then they're saying that they're, they're I mean, going to they, drop it I mean, they could ahead do a, of Ghostbusters. They could do an event without this situation. I'm just saying. Like, they could do this... Yeah, but you wouldn't do it... You could do it based on like, yo, look at all these callback to these guys, like these old enemies. Like I'm just saying, like, yeah. I, I, I just think when you're until when the, I see it with my eyeballs, it's not confirmed. The, when or the unless, movie's so unless close. Sony comes out and says, hey, guess what? Andrew Garfield, freaking whatever his other face is, Tobey Maguire are in this movie. That's a confirmation. So, so they're doing when? It, when are they doing it's the Tuesday. showing? Okay, so it's Tuesday. Obviously, com- confirmation. Well, we know Tuesday because spoiler day. We know that <laughs> exactly. it's multiple Spider Man day, right? But no, Tobey Maguire's got something on Thursday and Wednesday. Okay, here's the other thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, good job, guys. You did good. Do we see this trailer on Thursday? Do we see it the next week? Yeah, when do are the rest the of us? Day? When are the rest of us peasants up in like Northern California? We see it like hours after, right? I don't. People Just are saying they don't case. know. Okay. People are saying that it, okay. since it's only event in L.A. and they moved it to a bigger theater. Why are they doing this? Yeah, by the way, that's a, that's a try- jerk move. They're weird. trying to milk it because everyone's talked about they're wanting to, to see them, and they're trying to milk it. Secret hype. They're trying to do the hype, and then yeah. Ghostbusters comes out on Thursday, which is also Sony. This Thursday? This Thursday. So right. they're saying that they're going to drop it and then be like, if you want to see the new trailer, oh, go watch okay. Ghostbusters because okay, okay, it's okay. going to be opening night. Okay. And then that way you get people to so, go yeah. watch Ghostbusters just to watch the note. And the, then they'll, the, they'll probably release it on the, the weekend. And they'll then probably they'll have the trailer really, by 
Yeah, by, by the, the weekend. weekend yes, yeah. uh, but you guys aren't watching it, so I'll let you know if I was right and it's confirmed. Oh, I never said that. I said I would prefer oh my not. Do you, do you think you'll watch it? <laughs> I think I probably will. Probably will. I'll probably. I mean, at this I'll point, probably. it's already been confirmed to me, so it's already been spoiled. You guys. Are, so. you guys. <laughs> what? Never mind. What? No, go ahead. You guys I think spent we'll, a whole episode being like, spoilers, yeah, they shouldn't show it. Now, I don't even want to watch anymore. I wanted that saved for the movie. And then you're like, yeah, I'll probably watch it. You sound just Yeah, because like, I'm weak. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm just a, saying. I'm a weak son of a I'm not strong <laughs> enough to stay away. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, you know, I, we can argue about that's Bush, Bush League, that's guys. Fine. That's Bush League. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's. Yeah, it's not Bush League. I don't agree with that. I I'm saying in this I, podcast, it's, it's a it's situation like, where it's like they preferred if they just didn't release one at all. That's their preference. Right. That's I've, all. I've been. I've said this yeah. for years. I was yeah. like, I would rather not see any trailers, but half the time I watch them anyway. Well, you have yeah. to. Would to I prefer to not to. watch mm-hmm. them? Then, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. Tunes changed a little bit. You guys want to see that money shot and get excited. No. no. You're I really don't care. Shot, they want to That's see the money shot in the movie. That's what I said. You want to see but that I'm saying, the movie. They argued about the mo- uh, money shot stupid. And, want that. No, and no, now hey, they're like, no, I don't, yeah, I can't wait I don't to watch sound like it. that. I can't wait to watch That's the trailer exactly so I can tell goes. you how much I hate that they freaking revealed it in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be great. That's why he's going to watch it. Tune in next week. It's going to be like, yeah, we were right. And it ruined it. It ruined Two in next week to well, see the I just battle like being, of the I just ages. like being right all the time. So I'm glad you when, guys are on my side where you're going to actually right, watch the trailer. When have you been right about anything? You said they were going to drop a trailer for Obi-Wan <laughs> on Disney Plus Day. Get out of here. You were up at 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Twitter. Yeah, for sure, guys. Well, they, technically, they dropped a sneak peek. Some would say that's a trailer. I mean, it, I'm going to post my text that when I was like, oh, <laughs> hope they actually give us something new. Yeah, trailer for sure tomorrow. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. Set your alarm clock. <laughs> you know, yeah, you should post it. At least you'd post something finally on the Nerd Age account. Oh. <laughs> no, I'd be care. all about it. <laughs> would you? <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys want to be alone? Dude, start <laughs> posting <laughs> anti Snyder oh, stuff. Heck yeah. It's going to be all about how James Gunn is the best director yes. ever. Yes. James Gunn is the blueprint. Yeah, that'd be so funny to just <laughs> troll him. That'd be great, actually. That'd be pretty funny. I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's it for the news. A lot. You guys are the worst. <laughs> Aren't we? I played devil's advocate. I was being a boy. Yeah, why are you hitting on him? <laughs> Just because we he all didn't agree do on something. Yeah, it's give a me a drink. More give me a drink. Boring. Give you a drink? Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? But yeah. Cool. So yeah. that's it for the news, yeah, you said? for the news. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. We have one last thing we want to talk about. Or, Yeah. Do you guys want to oh, talk do about you want it? To do games or do you want to do arcane? Oh right, I guess the well, there's just a couple of things in the news uh, that came out. Um, Bethesda came out talking mm-hmm. about Skyrim six, or what's it called? Anyway, um, and they're basically <laughs> saying they're saying, hey, to be honest, it's not our focus right now. Our focus is Starfield, <laughs> and so they came out and said that, and uh, they said basically Starfield wouldn't be happening three four five years down the road if we started it then it has to be done now i'm guessing based on what other games are out there and and the tech i guess that's available right now and so they're putting all their resources for starfield um the space game that they're making um and but they did they did say they're like oh but we are planning for skyrim 6 to be way deeper way more in depth and all this stuff just to kind of appease the fans you yeah. know and did so, it work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it never works. I don't know who. I mean, there's some people who are excited about Starfield, but like me personally, like, mm, is it like a what, it's a space it's space Skyrim, space Skyrim? But it's, it's weird open because space, so like Mass Effect or something y- like that. Uh, Not as railroady as as Mass Effect. I don't think. What but, does railroady mean? Like you're on a on a track and oh. you can only go left. So or it's right. more open world than. Mm. I, I don't know. <laughs> they haven't really said too much. They I th- haven't said much. I, I think yeah. the assum- my assumption is it's basically open world space. I'm assuming. Game. I'm assuming it's going to be like Skyrim. <laughs> they have a main story, but you can. There's <laughs> millions of probably side quests. <laughs> I just love that description. What do you say? I feel like it's more <laughs> open like world open space world game. space game. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Skyrim in like space. You understand Starfield. the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no open world space game. All right. So I mean, I've never been a huge space fan. Um, there's some stuff out there that's cool, like Buzz uh, Star Fox. Oh yeah, we didn't talk. No, that's not really. 
the oh, Buzz yeah, Lightyear that, Yeah, that trailer that dropped, announced? I think, a couple of Like a month ago. ago. <laughs> we didn't talk about that? <laughs> no, we didn't talk but about Lightyear. Like, but yeah. yeah, it was a cool trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on them for not getting Woody Allen. Woody. What? Woody what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Tim Allen. I mixed Woody, Woody with Allen. Allen. <laughs> I don't think we want Woody. Yeah, I don't think we want him. Back to Starfield. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, that was basically it. Uh, they really didn't say much about it. Um, they're kind of just like passing it off like, eh, just stop asking. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, you know. said open uh, closed beta for Oh, yeah, Elden, Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. So they basically uh, invited some people to do a closed network beta. Um, and But they let people record and stream the gameplay which is crazy and did you get uh, the invite i wish i signed no. up for it i was like man what the heck i read that uh people were selling them for like a thousand or some bucks or something like that <clears throat> really yeah i mean that's crazy it was like an article dude somewhere. there are some diehard fans for those um those souls games it's crazy but it looked just like a souls game um some people were complaining about the graphics they're like oh it's just not good enough it's not improved at all but you have to take into account that it's an open world Souls game, so the resources that you're having to like expend to even like play this game is super crazy because you're rendering such a far distance. When it comes to Souls games, they're just little dungeons. They're you know they're enclosed. There's not much to them. So uh, everyone everyone who played was just like, this is so good. It feels exactly like a Souls game. It has a little bit of Sekiro vibes as well. I mean, same creators, but like. The horse combat's really good. The bosses are dope. Like, they'll just, like, dynamically find you in the wild, and it's it's cool. Um, so they basically, the the testers could do, like, a two-hour demo, um, but it saved their progress, so you could just keep playing. And so it seemed like a good chunk of the game was there. So pretty cool. The game looked dope. I saw some streamers doing it, and uh, it looked really fun. I think this is a game I'm going to get. Nice. Um, I don't. Cool. I haven't really played Souls games, and because they seem really hard, because they are. Uh, but this one, I'm like, yo, this looks dope, and it looks like the multiplayer drop-in mechanic actually is pretty nice. So if you needed help on a boss, you could summon a spirit, and it's your buddy playing, and he can help you fight and beat that boss. So that sounds fun to me, and it looks dope. Is this just PC only? Um, you know it's not going to be, but like, yes, I think initial release is going to be yeah. PC. But I think it's going to be one of those things that comes out next year. I think it's coming for P, uh, for PS5. PS5 at least. Okay, uh, I don't know good. of any any of the other ones, but yeah, for sure PS5. I know. Oh, cool. Yeah, that'd be good because yeah, it looks freaking solid. Nice. I just saw the dragon fight. I was like, that's so dope. So, yeah, it's cool. I'm excited for it. That comes out in February, I think. So, oh, it's right around the corner. Yeah, but yeah, very nice. Cool. That's it. Arcane? Okay. Okay, so we wanted to talk about Arcane, um, the Riot Games um, animated Netflix animated show, uh, which has been a huge hit uh, lately. Everyone's loving it. Anyone who's anyone. Anyone to me is anyone. <laughs> I will say that I think my, my – not my opinion – but my like reception of it, like public reception of it, like what I'm seeing on Twitter and stuff like that, is a little skewed because I work in esports, and so ever like Cloud Nine was founded on League of Legends, and so that's what this series is based on. But um, do you have a cameo? No, oh, no. I wish. Freaking You're not the guy with glasses. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> the big dude, dude. What's his name? Uh, I can't remember. But um, Corey. Oh. Well, he's not a yeah. character in the game, so that's why I don't remember him. Mm-hmm. I remember everyone else, though. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> I, okay, so just kind of just we want to do just quick thoughts, non spoiler, just kind of like because it's just me and Josh who have really seen it. Joni, you've, you've seen like one or two episodes? Two episodes and a half. Can you confirm how many episodes you've seen? Well, the problem is, is that you didn't finish the first, which the first it? act. So it's like you're just there. <laughs> So I wish you would have finished it because then you'd have, you know, a di- well, not a different opinion, but hmm. you'd have an opinion that matters. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a I'm better kidding. opinion. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, we can still give you, high what level. You, what do you think off at, at the beginning, at least from what you've seen? Um, I think we we talked about before. Um, the music's really awesome. The animation's really good. Like, it's just beautiful. Mm. Um, I like kind of just the world they're setting up. Um, it's interesting, you know, to see... Um, the aspect of like magic, and then it's 
it's kind of like illegal mm. um, and kind of that that whole hierarchy of things and like there's the academics but they can't investigate into it's illegal to go into like magic and stuff like that that's cool to me and then the mm. the lower realm versus the people on top and kind of stuff like that so I, I think it just it's set up really well um, to have those dynamics of good storytelling and mm. so it's interesting to me um, you know we talked about I like the orchestra music that they use. Um, and we talked about, I don't, I was hoping they would use that in the intro. Intro, yeah. Um, they use an Imagine Dragon song, and I'm just like, ah, the whole um, intro was really cool looking. Just, it's like marble, and like the animation looks like they're statues. And I'm like, man, to do like a kind of Game of Thrones <clears throat> intro with uh, that kind of music, mm. with the music they use in the in the show is really good. Yeah. So I was like, I wish they would have done that instead of an Imagine Dragons songs. But yeah. that's kind of just a nitpick. Other than that, everything else has been, I like the characters. Yeah. Um, I'm intrigued by the villain, hmm. um, which at least the villain, I think, so far. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The weird eye guy. Um, weird eye. Weird Al? Okay. Weird Al. But yeah, I, weird mean, I, I really show? like it. Yeah. You're going to watch it now. Yeah. Nobody knows Weird Al's in it. <laughs> the voice <laughs> acting is good. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of times with animation stuff, <clears throat> I feel like the voice acting can be iffy. Um, and so this yeah. stuff feels like really good. Like it's, you feel like it fits with the animation. The expressions on their faces are really well done. So it just kind of like everything kind of fits well. So it's like enjoyable to me. Yeah. Funny little tidbit on the two main characters, the the girls, it took them like a full year to cast the right people for those oh, characters. Nice. That's how much time they took and care they took on this. Because um, I think the development time was like four or five years. I think it was four years. So they t- took a lot of time to kind of handcraft who was, who was representing their characters. What did you think, Josh? I really liked it. Yeah, from the get-go when I saw first saw the trailer, I was like, oh, that looks really interesting. Mm. Like just the – I think the art style is very <laughs> eye-catching to me. Um, it's – kind of like you can kind of tell that it's got cgi elements but a lot of it looks almost like painterly yeah to me. yeah uh and it just looks it just looks awesome all the action is really dynamic all the fighting yeah. uh it just it's really uh nice to look at hmm. um same thing <clears throat> comment from jonah the music's awesome i really enjoy the characters and like i have no attachment to league of legends Brian. like i have no clue i may have seen it um, yeah, played a couple of times. I saw Derek. You don't know um, who the characters are, but like I have no clue who the yeah. characters are, um, and I'm still like invested in the characters. Uh, so that's I think that's a that's testament. good to hear because that was kind of my like maybe a little hesitant about watching it, but you you're enjoying it without really any. Yeah, absolutely. I think the the writing's good, the character development's good. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy the story. Is and it yeah. like a is it like a kids? show or no uh it's like tv 14 i think it's, it's like it's young adult that. okay yeah okay. um it's like twilight <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd love it young then. adult you know yeah it's a little yeah <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> so yeah that's that's really interesting to hear because yeah you guys haven't played the game you know nothing about it really at least the characters and the story and like the areas and to be honest with you guys neither did i it's a it's a battle arena game there's no storyline. There's no, no quest that yeah, you're that, doing. That's what I was going to ask is like yeah. you've got your champions. What is there, like 140 now or something yeah, ridiculous like that? Yeah, that's fun. Um, but like do you have like a li- at least like a description of the champions yes. and that's all so, the lore you're getting, right? So an interesting fact is that I've seen people post on Twitter being like, at least Arcane has made me look and read those little tidbits about the characters because now that we're invested like this show is getting us invested in the characters not the game the game's not doing that and so it's like you're they're unlocking like new fans of the world and the um i guess the story of of um piltover or, or just generally league of legends right and so yeah these things i i knew that like some characters were generally good some characters are generally bad and and kind of like oh they're related to each other and those basic things but nothing to this yeah. degree this is awesome i i really enjoyed the storytelling here i think that just a plus storytelling i think um the emotional beats that they hit um are really good um 
yeah, they get you invested in characters that you don't think you would be. And, um, you know, the animation, obviously, you guys talked a lot about it, but a specific note was, I think, I can't remember who was punching who, but someone punched someone in the face, and it was like ripple and spit, and the spit had reflection on it. And I was like, whoa. And then it turned to blood. <laughs> Whole, <laughs> what's it? And then, yeah, it's in the third episode. Oh, right? man. Dang, dude. Anyway, because I, I I just watched mm, it and I was like I saw the same sorry, thing I was like sorry, oh that's really spoiler. cool. It was, there, was spit blood. There's just <laughs> like the quality of animation I thought was going to turn me off a little bit because I was like ah it's going to be weird with eyes it's going to be weird mouth movement but all those animations that make you a little weirded out feel really natural with the voice actors. Yeah, it's completely so when I complained about what if mm. and how the facial like the the facial expressions and the mouth movement was off from um the the actual dialogue it's completely different in this show like it yeah. fits you get a lot of expression you get a lot of like it matches up yeah. um so i think it's just higher quality of um so what you're saying you yeah. know my complaint with what if was like ah it feels weird it doesn't feel weird at all in yeah. this it's just to me it's done better it's probably just a different style of animation yeah. um yeah. but it does it have is. similar kind of looks to it yeah. uh, like 3d animation like 3d drawn but i think what josh is saying too it's more like like a paintbrush kind mm-hmm. of there's like those textures to it um but i i like i'm really enjoying just kind of that the articulation of the face and all that animation how it works it's just yeah really well done and it doesn't like with other animation things it's like pulls me out of it even like rebels and that kind of stuff um even clone wars it's like like the way they run and yeah weird, weird this stuff is like just kind of yeah. like it flows yeah it's like feels very natural yeah. for the world that it's in it fits like yeah perfect like a glove you know the characters with the backdrops and everything like that I think it's a very interesting story. I think that the characters are – some of them are very unique and some are very, like, familiar. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited for you guys to watch the rest um, and for Mick for you to yep. at least try it out a little bit. Um, I think that when people th- see that it's, oh, it's League of Legends, oh, it's a video game thing, uh, like Josh said, you don't have to play the game to even enjoy this Um Quite the contrary. I like. I think it's it's almost more enjoyable, you know. But um, yeah, excited to to see where it goes. Um, they've released three episodes, or six total episodes. They did Act One, Act Two, then they're gonna do the next three next weekend. I think on Saturday is when they did it. So um, that'll be that. So uh, it makes me excited to see the 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 end of it. So that'll be really cool. But um, yeah, cool. Arcane's very cool. Try it out if you're if you like good story and and good animation. How long are the episodes? Like forty minutes? Yeah, forty, 40 forty five minutes. Okay. So I mean, yeah, they're decent. They're decently long. I mean, just the first three episodes, that's a lot of a lot of show. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And 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 just personally, I've seen six, right? Six episodes. That's a lot of time. Um I've only seen two scenes that I didn't like. And one line that I was like, Jonah's not going to like that. And I also didn't like that. <laughs> Three th- situations out of six full episodes, 45 minutes long. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> super critical. Um, we could talk about it okay. uh, later, but yeah. yeah. I can't think of anything really? that I was like, huh. Okay. I didn't like that at all. But maybe when you mention it, I'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, nothing's, there's only one. Th- I mean, this is more like story related that I'm like, but I think it's good that I'm getting annoyed at certain characters because mm-hmm. um, I think that's good storytelling. But, yeah, nothing nothing stood out to me like, oh, I didn't like what he said there. Or okay, okay. Anything like that. Yeah, overall, like I've Crystal and I have both really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's interesting that they chose to release it in three, 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 three. because yeah. Netflix is usually like dump it and yeah. let's go. Yeah. Uh, I almost wish it was just episode by episode so yeah. that, it, you know, <laughs> I know we drag it out because now I'm like, mm, man, it's done next week. Yeah, it is kind of so sad. It's kind of, you know, I think we've talked about that a bunch of like, you know, what you prefer. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good problem doing. to have yeah. having access to content just whenever you want. It's yeah. Nice. But I'm just a sucker for animation in general. So yeah. seeing a show that's done really well. animation yeah. in this style, that's done really well, it just makes me want like, I want, to anim- I want makes you want to animate. I want everything animated. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. give me more Star Wars animated shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me, you know, give me more Lord of the Rings 
stories that are animated because that'd be cool. And at least I find that animated stories are often done better than a movie mm-hmm. in a lot of cases, at least for me personally. Sure. Uh, well, you're in luck because Marvel is doing a ton of animated. <laughs> hey, I'm excited for the Baymax. Dude, Lord of the Rings would actually look <laughs> kind of, show. Lord of the Rings would actually look pretty good. Oh, in that. Lord of the Rings. Well, what are they style? doing? The they're doing Rider the Ride right of the, the uh, Yeah, well, the we Rohan don't know Rohan. what style they're going to be. It's going to be anime. It looked anime. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I think they showed like I'm gonna like some it. Pictures <laughs> or something. Well, yeah. Feel so, bad for you two. I don't. I, I, I like it. I like anime. anime. Y'all, yeah. y'all racist, dude. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, uh, so that's gonna be a, that's gonna be anime stuff. That'll be interesting. But I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited hey, for that. I like oh, anime. I like certain anime. I just don't didn't yeah. like the Tatooine Rhapsody. Oh, I didn't either. Anime. Oh, <laughs> I didn't either. Dude. It was good, dude. I or the robot this, one. One of my one of my. I like the robot one. one of my, I don't like the animation. If that was Lord of the Rings, you would be okay with the Riders of Rohan being that animation? No, but I'd That's be like a show about hobbits. I wouldn't mind being in that okay, animation yeah. style. Well, we're not doing a show about hobbits. So just okay. in general, I can't wait to go over these these episodes with you guys and talk about spoiler stuff because there is some really cool stuff that they do and... You just spoiled Nick. Playing the game. I know they do cool (laughs) stuff. Playing the game makes this even better for me. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. And so, so far, like, I'm rating this, like, over a 9 right now. Like, a 9.1 or So, I'm waiting for Warcraft. Um, No, that's what I'm... If they did a Warcraft animated show, dude, I would eat that up. And that's the cool thing. They can just, like, retell or, or tell a new story. But they could tell, like, the culmination of the lich king yeah yeah they could do the arthas story yeah they could that'd be sick they should yeah Yeah. anyway so cool thank thanks for going over that i appreciate that and that i think uh that'd be really dope to go over that either next week or the week after but yeah as soon as i get wi-fi in my apartment (gasps) i'll uh you don't have it yet i don't have it yet oh no (laughs) that's i'm in the process of setting stuff dude streaming 45 minute long stuff on your phone yeah Yeah. that'll eat your data up right quick Exactly. <laughs> you go to Starbucks across the street. That's true. Yeah. Just set maybe it off there. Maybe it'll reach you. Maybe you can pick it, it up. You'll probably yes. you'll I probably it just out, mooch dude. off of someone like three stores below me there or something. Go. Yeah. Just be friends with your neighbors and be like, hey, like, I'm <laughs> waiting for my internet. I need a cup of sugar. <laughs> Wi Fi. Hey, have you heard yeah. of Have you heard of the Nerd Age podcast? Like, <laughs> I'll give you a shout out if you want me to use your Wi Fi. <laughs> Just learn their names, and I could probably guess their password. <laughs> probably. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, I think that's yeah, that's the show. Yeah, check us out: Instagram, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Um, leave us a review if you haven't, and if you want to um, interact with us on any of those um, platforms. If you have any topics you want us to discuss, yeah, tell us what um, you think. Do you think, know. do you think the heroes will be oversaturated in like three, four yeah. years? Like, that's a good question. I want to know what people think about that. So we'd love to have just more interaction with you all, and we appreciate you all listening to us. And, uh, um, yeah, a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, we'll uh, talk to you guys next week. See ya. Bye. Later. See ya.